Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Talk to People We Don't Care About. My favorite game. Hi Jack. How are you doing? I need to get to Pragia, Shepard. Oh. Uh, oh yeah. Think about we, already, yep. we already did that. Forgot about that. Alright. Uh, is that anyone else? I think just Jacob, but he wanted to talk about his parents, so... Yeah, I guess we're good. I guess we're good. The only thing I'm gonna do is remove the glasses on, uh, whatever his name is. I think I've already fed the fish, and the hamster didn't really need feeding. No messages for you, Commander. Yeah, thanks. Alright, um... Uh, let's just... I mean, the glasses look cool as fuck, but they look really awkward in cutscenes. So, we need to get rid of that. Alright. Hello, Galaxy Map. Where shall a Galaxy take us today? Why are we all the way over here? Joker, what the fuck? Ah, uh, we have a lot of fuel. So we can help Miranda and give Liara intel, so I guess we'll do both of those things. Do I have to bring Miranda with me? Fuck it, might as well. Uh, who, who, who's sexier, Morden or Garrus? That's a very tough question. Uh, but I like, I like Garrus's wit. In fact, let me put him first. I don't know if this matters. Uh, we got two points, but nothing to really put it into, because I want to save for operative. The Garrus level? No. Does she level? Yeah. Alright, what does this do? Uh, this is service leader. She gives, uh, the squad increased bonus damage or leadership tactics. I would say we're gonna make her... Help the squad with damage, so I can one-shot shit even more. What does she have for weapons? Uh, I guess the hand cannon isn't really for her. Actually it is. Whatever. Locust, yep. Our, is it, what, what do we use? Do we use the locust? I think we do. Oh, whatever. I don't really care. My sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? That depends on who's asking. My intentions are peaceful, and I'll take that as a yes. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. What happens to the shipping agent who is cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct her mistake. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Yeah, uh, we we know. I wonder how much more do I have to do here? Let's uh have a look. I keep pressing K, but it's actually probably J. Uh let's see here. Uh deliver the data. On Ely, I'm looking for the family data and deliver it to him. Okay. Uh, is that it? Oh yeah, I'm the system hacking. Let's see this one. Hack security nodes. Okay, well I guess we have more security nodes to find. I didn't really do it all the way, I think. Uh, and there's also some place I didn't explore around here, so... I. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bond mate. It's only my child has solutions There we go. We only care a little bit. Uh this is a turn it over here. Let's go check it out. Miss Lawson is with me. It's her fucking mission, so I might as well. Arrested. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Human? Is there anything I can do? Oh no. That crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Find the troublemaker. Awesome. I still don't see why we're here. 
Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. You said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Okay, now that's offensive. I appreciate the gesture, but my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But we actually reproduce by... My word. She is very... limber. I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner, but I don't have feelings of... She is a lovely shade of blue. Okay. That makes my legs hurt just watching it. And my knees are meant to bend that way. This isn't as bad as I'd feared. It's actually... Is it warm in here? Okay. You see that bit there? The little divot in her abdomen? It's called a belly button. Humans and Asari have them. And you're gonna be doing shots out of it later tonight. That can't be sanitary. Not the point, man. I can understand why I might find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans, too? They look just like Salarians. What? They look exactly like us. I'm... I, I'm not seeing the Salarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Blue Turians. Look at the head fridge. Wait. You don't think they're, like, mind-controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilium. Well, I suppose watching just one more dance wouldn't hurt. Ha <laughs> ha that's the spirit! As long as I'm not paying for the drinks. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians right. do not get married. I... You're really holding out on me? No! I'm a man on the edge! I got nothing to lose! Uh-huh. I'll Fuck. do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a Spectre. Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, let me make this perfectly clear. <coughs> this is not acceptable. Oh, my foot! You shot my foot! <laughs> that shot barely grazed you, you big baby. Sorry, my father was a Krogan. It still scared me. I knew it the badass mercenary thing. People don't usually shoot me. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How did you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, the back shaking their head. So, you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. 
All right, you can't tell him to get lost or else he dies. So we gotta tell him what he, what is he doing here? Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport. She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Yeah, we, we don't want him to die, unfortunately. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. If your mother fought in the Rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up. Your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. One saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Thanks for setting up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Buy a drink? Mystery drink? Yes. I'm not spending money on that.
Oh, good. It's it's blurry again. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go over here and talk to weapons dealer or something. Oh, they they were down below, I think. These doors don't close. I'm running into walls. And I'm not drunk. This is just how I play games, honestly. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says. So wait, where where was I supposed to go? Uh, talk to the sorry weapons merchant. Found out why she lied to Kong and Red. I own you. Uh, well, let's see. Is there a map here? I can remember there. I think there was a weapons merchant around there. Gateway personal defense is one. Maybe that's the one I need to talk to. I'll just double check over here. Yeah, it must be the one over there. Cause I remember she wasn't very talkative, and I thought it was weird. So, we need to finish our Conrad quest line. It's extremely important, guys. Uh, was it here? Yeah, it was here. Listen. Oh. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. It's this guy's data. I overheard you, Doc. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? Why is this data so important anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Corosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human... Pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. That's all I got. Paragon? I don't want to be fair. Fucking thousand five. What the fuck? Worst reward ever. I don't even want to play this game anymore. Not for not for less than two thousand credits. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the two. Alright, here's a weapons merchant, I think. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. Pay attention, lady. Unlike Conrad, I actually know how to use a gun. Wait, 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 wait! This whole place is under video surveillance! You can't shoot me! I don't give a Vorch's ass about your security cameras. Conrad Burner is an idiot, but he doesn't deserve to be manipulated like that. You're gonna make it up to him. Okay, I'll go tell him the truth. No. You're gonna tell Conrad that he did a great job, and then you're gonna leave. That's all. Are we clear? Yes, we're clear. Look, I I'm even putting you in for a discount at the kiosk, okay? I'll do that. Talk to Werner and I'm gone, I swear. Nice. So I could have done this the whole time. I mean, I needed this anyways. The heavy skin weave. We can use this. Uh... I don't really need the plates. At some point I probably should get the assault rifle damage for my allies, but you know. Receive plus 20% health. Holy shit, these doors are so slow. Everything is really small in this game, like all the all the world like all the rooms and shit. I can guarantee it's because of console limitations. I blame the consoles for everything, you know. My name gonna just be be an old man on my fucking my fucking like porch. You know, you know fucking damn kids with consoles ruining everything. The fucking holograph, hog, holograms and shit. One day, one day. Can't wait till the first time I just yell at some kids for some fucking reason. I look forward to things like that. Fucking, all right, heck, I'm not. I used to do videos on YouTube. The weapons merchant said that we took care of the red sand dealers. 
I guess I really helped. This was a dangerous operation, Conrad. You could have been killed. I'd feel terrible if anything happened to you. I didn't know. I... I can't risk you being worried about my safety. I'll stop pretending to be something I'm not. But thanks for letting me help, at least for a little while. It's really good to have you back. And now he'll live in Mass Effect 3. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? Oh, here she is, I guess. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. Making changes now could be dangerous. Are you sure you can trust Niket? Absolutely. He's one of my oldest friends. I trust him with Ariana. Lentea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. You want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'd like to take care of some things before we go. Oh. We can't wait too long. Eclipse I'll will do be what I can to buy you some time. Let me know. Oh, yeah, sorry, my bad. The Eclipse I meant team to go. is getting dangerously close to, to finding Miranda's sister. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. My bad. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Like the beady red eyes of Shepard. Alright, well, we have no choice but to take her along, so maybe we should take Morden, because Morden kind of has, uh, you know, burning stuff. He's got, he's got the heavy incinerate, which is good. But this guy has snipers, so, I don't know, fine, we'll just take Morden. Uh, I think Raguchi. Yeah. Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. <laughs> I said, hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. I think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. 
I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. I'm giving you one chance to leave. That's more than most get. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want the... <laughs> 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 Alright, okay. Just he killed one of his slurring friends. Actually, wait, I don't have the fucking thing on. I forget every time. It doesn't go on by itself. Alright, let's go just like throw the weapons and put on my ship. Got him, don't worry. What, did he just like die on top of the box? What a boss. I like that guy. I also like that intro. That intro was amazing. Oh, look, I have 360 ammo now. Almost like this was an Xbox game of some sort. Hmm. I'm very suspicious now. I'm joking. Pure coincidence, I promise you. Come on, we need to get to the cat. The SMD seems to have gotten slightly stronger though, or these guys just suck shit. Either one. I'm gonna go with a bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. I can understand choosing to go your own way. But you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Ariana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. Sounds like your friend Niket might be in some trouble. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Let's go find Niket and Orion. Right. The name Niket is incredibly fruity. Horrible name. I got credits. As much as the other guy gave me. Well, time your shots? Well, I'm pretty good at that. Taking cover! 
Time your shots, guys. Heading to cover. Oh, we don't really need anything here. Oh, fucking gut flames. Holy shit, that's a ton of drones. Okay, well, no tactical no, no tactical cloak uh, available for me. I just basically got uh, stunned by one of the drones like immediately. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. I know. Ready for takedown. You just go, just guys go over there. I'm no. gonna fuck. Going to cover. I keep pressing E for stuff. I missed. Oh, whoa. Thought I was harmless, did you? He's so happy about the fact he seems he seems harmless. It looks like Miranda's down. Oh, you won't be saying your sister then. What the fuck? What? Please. Alright. Now this guy knows I was already here. I should probably wait for my shields to go back up. So we gotta do the regen dance. There you go, regen dance always works. It, it actually helps you, um, pro tip for this game, it actually helps you uh, regen your uh, health faster and in games that are cover shooters. You do the regen dance and then you get all your health back. Who am, I, who am I talking to? My two buddies died. What the fuck? Get out of here. Ow. Alright. So they had like a lot of biotics like one of the last times. This is guys that use tech and shit. Fuck, can you just reload the fucking gun? There you go. Kill this guy. Fuck. Regen dance. No, I don't want to burn. Oh, good, I dodged it. Well, thank goodness I carried our team to glorious victory. Something over here. I always feel like I should explore these places thoroughly, but man, it's not like you actually ever miss anything. Because like, even if I don't get a certain upgrade or something, it still gives it to me by the end. Ah, uh, that's gonna be useful. I like some machine gun damage now. One second, I have to open the locker. All right, we got more credits. Just nothing to help. Yeah, more than don't move. Okay, whatever. Alright. This is just so accurate, this gun. It's ridiculous. I just remember playing through all Mass Effect 2 and having the shitty SMG. It was basically like my weapon of choice. Weapon of choice when I ran out of ammunition for literally everything else. I'm not saying it's the best weapon ever, but... Okay, this guy took no damage. What the fuck? Well, 
Fuck, we love the gun. Alright, that would be a missile launcher. Also, shooting explosive barrels doesn't seem to do a whole lot. What the hell? I aim for that thing? Okay. Thanks to console games. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get mad that I keep calling this a console port. Well, fuck you guys, so... Uh, shit, I missed. I could not aim in a console shooter. I'm, I'm, I've been humiliated. Maybe I should just do some more fast aiming, but yeah. You guys, wanna see my my sweet quick scoping? All right, ready? Go, go, go! Got him! Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta, that that's gotta get all the Xbox users hard. Come on, come on! You know you like it. <laughs> uh, like I said, this is this is Mike Latch shits on. Uh, Games that you love. You're new to the channel. Welcome. <laughs> I mean, I would be playing if it I if I wasn't having fun. Divert everyone except my guard from the cat. I'll handle him and the kid personally. Damn it! I'm not letting her get Oriana. I'm just a very sarcastic individual. Negative contact. Hostiles detected. I like to point out flaws, because no game is flawless. Some are more flawless than others, but no, no game is without flaws. I mean, for the most part, I'm breezing through 90% of this game on the hardest difficulty, so... And, uh, could you my infiltrator choice. Wish I had more mobility like rolls and shit. And then again, it really would be Gears of War if they did that. Fuck, I missed. Holy shit. Sorry, I just want to get rid of that because I want to take cover up there. Actually, I want to see what the AI does in terms of animation with fighting. Alright. So you are right now pointing your gun out of boxes. Alright, she's going out. She wants to see how smart they made the AI because if you ever look at them, they're useless. Alright, she's shooting that guy. It's right now pretty normal. Oh, who's over there? Right. I'm not even I'm not even using like anything that's sniper related. I just have a fucking some machine gun and incinerate and we're going ham. Fuck, I have that too, bitch. We have like tons of ammo for this SMG. And that is the curse. That's why I fucking hated it so much. Because it never ran out of ammo. That went right through that. It's always the weapons you hate that always have an abundance of ammo. Like, dude, I've been using this shit the whole time. I'm not, I'm not even halfway through. Oh. Uh, let's have a look around here, actually. Miss Lawson, are you awake? Oh, thank goodness you're awake. I really wasn't weird at all, honestly. Oh god, it's like 39 minutes, fuck. Alright, that's all the time we got for today. See you later, bye.